Guess what? Another John Doe. This time I paid only around two hundred forty dollars. Let's see what's inside here. You might be asking me why am I filming so many John Doe's? It's kind of fun to open it. It's fun to film it, and on top of it, it's keep getting all the views on Facebook. So why not keep going? Okay. License plate from 1961 Virginia. Pretty crazy. Okay, some kind of records. Okay, wow, that's kind of cool. I never seen that before. Hockey uh, figurine with the card. That's very unique. Okay, baby tray. Okay, that's full of stuff. Looks like a chocolate box. And we have here lots of lots of magazines over here, or what do you call it? Comics. I'll go to it with you close up. Some kind of board game. Wow, that's a big jungle today. What is this? Looks like a wheel cover. And we have here bags full of stuff. Ooh, bunch of coins. This is a free bite. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, now we can zoom in. I'm not super familiar with comics, but the older they are, the more collectible they are. Some of them, as you can see, more expensive, some of them less, some of them in great condition, some of them just new. Okay, let's open up this uh, shell box. What's in here? Oh yeah! If I pay $240 for the whole box and this earrings actual uh, $500, I'm in the money. I just don't think it's actual $500. I mean, it says half a card blue sapphire and it might be little fragments of diamonds over there, I'm not really sure. And I think it's 10 card gold and something to do with clarity over there. That's pretty unique. I like it. Earrings, pretty awesome. Okay, uncirculated 1967 penny, 1963. That's kind of cool. Okay, we got here paper money. I like that. Okay, I want to look at the serial number two. This is 1963 red stamp two dollar bills. Another 63. Okay, that is a good bill right here. Um, this side here, 333, 222, and if it was 333 and 222, that would have been a very expensive bill. So. It's just generic and it's also 1963, five dollar bill with the red stamp, it's pretty cool. We got it here, 50 state quarters, 1998 US Mint, that's kind of cool. Wow, that's beautiful. Good quality, bunch of, looks like error stones maybe, yeah, that is cool. Ooh, piece of gold. $55 side away, boom. By the way, this side here around $11 easily, maybe $8, depends on the quality. That is nice. I think I could sell it $80 easily with the premium. Okay, we have here, ooh, no way. Silver Eagle, 2005, good quality. So with the premium, they sell for around $30, $35 right now but melt while around $25. Okay, this is 56 silver dime. I think $1.90 melt while for all of this, 90% silvers. Okay, if it was 1917, this is Stendium Liberty, that is money in any condition, but this is just $6 melt while 1951. Okay, that one is kind of nice. Morgan silver dollar 1888 is it the CC nope <laughs> of course not but still nice uh, 1909 I kind of like this old quarters also probably melt volume I'll have to look into it uh, this is actually never mind half dollar that's cool this is a quarter right here 1908 this is the 10 cents barber dime 1913 1978 dollar is this uh, silver? I'm not really sure. I have to look into it, but it's still a dollar. Um, 1915, 10 cents. That's kind of cool 
good quality compared to this one. Check this out. And 1930, pretty cool. Oh wow, check this. Oh, this is a set like I never seen. This is five cents. Looks like one of them is gold plated maybe. The Morgan Mint. But if I flip it over, check this out. Look at this one especially. This is kind of cool. Um, so it's pretty much five cents painted, pa painted. So I don't think this is going to be much wallow of this quarters. But maybe like five bucks, who knows. Uh, I'll have to look into it. There's some beer, whatever you call those, um, like logos on the bottle. Some old car, uh, French money. I already have one. I got one from a last junk door. Wow, that's as old. Looks like it. Let's see. Doesn't have a date. It probably does. I can't understand it. Some more unique stuff over here. Beer stuff. This is probably Marx. Probably German. That's a big bills over here. That's cool. Okay. Another one. That is cool. Not as good of a quality on this one. And we have here with pennies. Let's dump it out. Let's see if we get something more than. Let's see if we get something very special. Yeah, most of it looks like generic stuff. Nothing super, super old. Just copper pennies. That's it. Okay, this is just a bonus, free goodies. Okay, we got here 1943 10 cents and a whole bunch of 5 cents. Uh, no dates. Buffalo. We're getting into some vintage stuff. What is this? West Virginia maybe? Wow, this one somebody dug out of the ground or something. Some uh, those plastic soldiers. A whole can of them. Wow, there's even a horse. And you can put one up on a horse. That's so cool. When I was a kid, I played with stuff like that a lot. Now everybody playing video games seems to be. Oh, nice. Is this stolen silver? That is the question. If it's uh, stolen silver in the back, it just says we're in a big mine over here. Doesn't look like it. Silver core. If anything, it may be silver plated it says silver but you want to look for stolen and none of that says stolen so just generic stuff over here okay vintage oil can over here people are collecting for some reason oh wow look how many world coins world coins you can sell them pretty easily five cents each unless there's something like a canadian dollar or stuff like that you want to keep that right Oh wow, look at that. Somebody had a mini toy collection of airplanes. I feel like I had one or two. Look at that space shuttle. Growing up, I had one or two of this one. They're all metal, but kind of beat up, heavily played with. And check this out. Keys. <laughs> and then there's just generic jewel in here. The pins are kind of cool. People collect pins sometimes. Depends what kind of pins they are, but I don't get the keys. That's kind of funny with Disney. Okay, let's dig through some more stuff. Look what people collect. No way. There's a PS3, I think, joystick. Or whatever you call it, controller. A Halloween mask, West Virginia. This is golf balls. That is cool. That's actually money. People sell them like 12 to 24 dollars. Inside here, there's a one or two golf ball and it's by that brand. So it looks like a beer can, but it's a golf ball. That's amazing. That is actual money, wow. Can't believe it, we got something like that. More pins, people collect that. Halloween pumpkin, that's nice. Nail clipper, GPS. <laughs> yeah, that's outdated stuff, that's for sure. Uh, looks like a coin tray. You just put coins inside here out of your pocket before you leave, you know? No way, energizer batteries. Very new, they might be working, so I'll keep that. Batteries does has expiration day. Wow, that is kind of cool. Pro Bowl game day, NFL. 
that is cool. There's some patches, so I mean, pins are kind of cool. Okay, today's junk door is extra good. I can't believe it. Some vintage knives. This is pretty nice ones. Marksman Pakistan. Just both of them the same way. Stainless Pakistan. Another razor. This kind of newer. And build buckle over here. Go. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I think I have one more bag now. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I feel like there was a lot of cool stuff. This junk door, I like that one a lot. I definitely had a great deal for what I paid for this one. 